It's obviously where shopping trolleys come to die. This time yesterday, uh, it was it's half past 11 and it was creeping up to 30 degrees. So uh, we pulled in at midday and had enough. Uh, but today, temperatures dropped radically. Apparently it's now 14, 15 degrees and we've got a strong westerly wind. So it's absolutely, absolutely that is, fantastic. Just a nice temperature. There she is herself. She's gone ahead to walk the dogs and to set the lock, which is just round the corner. Well, this is Tile Mill Swing Bridge and a lock. So we've got to set the lock, get the gates open before I can stop the traffic which I shall enjoy immensely. So, but before I do any of that, the top gate's got to be closed. That's obviously swung open because the last people have only just gone through. So, watch this space. Having opened up that sluice, I now got to go over and open that one, but there's no walkway on the lock, so I'm having to go over and cross the road. Now for the fun bit. You can do the same bridge. Yeah, that's fine. Cheers. How you doing? You alright? Alright. Just, just want one gate, do you? Yeah, we do, yeah. Come on. Yeah, just button pressing. You're a coal boat, are you? Yeah. 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 Well, just delivering some to Older Master. More or less uh, done really with this one.
insisting I film this. I'm hanging on for dear life to this rope. I don't like it in these locks. They're too fierce. It's all right for him out there, but I don't like this. Look at that. Yeah, it's all right for you up there. And that's just one paddle. Mm. On Victoria Falls. is just one paddle open. It's amazing force. I'll wait till the uh, water level gets above before opening the other paddle, if that's all. What? <laughs> what are you doing, Rich? Eating a curry wrap. <laughs> What did you think of that last lock then? I didn't like driving through that. I didn't enjoy that. The, the, what, the force of the water on these locks. I've never known anything like it. It's so powerful. But also, we're trying to have lunch and every five minutes there's either a lock or a swing bridge. My lunch is still sitting here. Now look. Another swing bridge coming Short up. Turn. Oh, I better eat quickly, then, <laughs> I have. Get on with your dinner. Kennington Haven, just outside Newbury. And uh, it's been peeing down all morning. Uh, it's now lunchtime, so we've popped out. Give these two a bit of a walk. We've been on the Kennet and Avon now for nearly three weeks. Yes. I think. Yeah. And uh, very nice it is too. Very wild. Uh, not managed like other canals in the system. Uh, you see the side of the canal bank. So it's just a case of uh, mooring up where you can, when you can. But uh, yeah, it's different. We enjoy it. You can't it. just go off. Um you know, think, oh, we're going to go and do three miles and stop here, because when you get to here, there might be <laughs> no moorings for another five miles. So uh, we've learnt, you know, not to leave things till too late in the day. Maybe cruise up first thing in the morning and stop as soon as you find somewhere nice. Because it's not reliable, is it? No. Anyway, we're off on our walk. We'll see you in a bit. So what's today's creation, friend? Well, What's it called? You came up with a name for it. Karavinskaya. Karavinskaya, which is the, the species name of... What's the plant no, called? No, it's Erigeron, is the species. Yes. Karavinskaya is the name. Rich suddenly said this, this word randomly while I'm weaving, sitting behind me, and suddenly came up with Karavinskaya. But actually, the little daisy is pink and white, so this piece of weaving 
might be called that. We've um, ordered our ordered some cards today. I've got an Etsy account half set up. Um, a few scars on the go, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a cold day, so we're not cruising. We're being creative. So what is it? You make it a scarf. A scarf. Right. Okay. Well, a shawl, so it will go round and then go on with a peg or a clip or something on the shoulder. It's too wide for a scarf. Oh, so it's not a smart. Made of mohair and silk and cotton. So it's not a smart or boating waistcoat for me then. Like well, pink <laughs> and lilac. Well. <laughs> so anyway, the sunshine has disappeared today, and uh, we're left with grey skies and a very cool day and uh, found ourselves a nice quiet mooring spot right by the railway and Fran's been out getting decorations for the boat look at that found a load of hops by the side of the canal and that it's going to be home for all the millions of spiders that come in every night so tomorrow <laughs> <It's> <laughs> going, to going, going to be covered in cobwebs <laughs> Get on with your weaving. So we are at Woolhampton Swing Bridge and Lock. Now we've been warned about this by other YouTubers, negatively buoyant, hello there. And uh, the lock is on a bend after that swing bridge. So Fran's gone up ahead, she's set the lock, left the gate open for me to get in. Now she's opening the swing bridge. So let's see how we go. Come on, Archie, just in. So apparently I'm supposed to go with the current, into the current, and then turn into the lock at the last second. Right, here goes. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy. We've been moored at the same spot uh, last week for five nights. Uh, it was raining a couple of the days, but uh, primarily because we went up north to Manchester, well, near Manchester for me to do a boat painting course uh, with none other than Phil Spate who is a renowned boat painter in the UK. Um, he's, also, he's really well known for his castles and roses on boats uh, but this course more or less um, focused on actual boat painting the hull and the sides and the roof. Uh, so I have the knowledge now to paint Constanza. But have you got the skill? Oh, that'll come. I'm going to do nine coats of paint on the boat. Yeah. By the time I do the last coat, I think... Uh, Currently, that's it, isn't it? Nine coats? Well, yeah, three coats of primer, three coats of undercoat, and then three coats of top coat. Whether we do that much or two of each, we'll probably end up doing two of each, won't we? I think it's a good job we've only got a 57 foot and not 70. 50 foot, not 70. Oh, 50 foot yeah. and not 70. Big enough. So we've... Uh, we decided we think that we're going to find dry dock for springtime, well, 
after Christmas anyway and um, get the boat out of water, get the hull blacked again if it needs it. It was done a year or so ago but we'll probably do it anyway yeah, do while it it's out of water and, um, and also get the propeller checked because after a slow spell on the uh, Tempers. <laughs> um, a lot of people suggested it might be the propeller size that was wrong for the boat. So there's a technical term for that. Pitch. The pitch. So we'll just get that checked. The boat actually seems to be going really, really well again now. Um, so it was probably just it was being on the Thames and it was much around the propeller. Well, it's rich cleared that out. It's been fine, isn't it? Yeah, we're fine. I'm finding that we're doing 1,400, 1,500 revs per minute just to be doing three or four miles an hour now this is our first boat so I don't know if that's the normal but other boats come up, come past us and just chug chug along and it just seems our boat's over revving I don't know maybe someone out there can let me know for definite uh, but anyway that's the plan for next year get the boat out of the water and paint not all of it maybe but the hole especially I think will get concentrate on and the roof needs doing doesn't it uh, we haven't been, we haven't made that much progress on this canal. We've really slowed down actually, we've really, slowed, we really down. slowed yeah. down. We've, we've, as you said, we've spent five days in one place and yeah. more and more, we just, if it's not a good day for travelling, we just go. We've, we've picked up our walking a lot more, haven't we, which yeah, we're really pleased better. about. My knee is much, much better. I'm hardly having anything, any twinges from it now. You know, after having months and months of pain, it's just gone. Uh, which is great so i'm taking it easy but i'm walking we're doing a few miles a day aren't we you know a couple of hours a day um which is great i am really i've really missed the walking uh, and this this life is, is just so made for walkers as well with the canal towpath on the side it's brilliant well, to be fair we've had this really really hot spell it wouldn't have been good to do much you know, lots yeah. of people, anyway, no. temperatures really drop now, and although it's only still mid-August, it feels really autumnal, um, and it's perfect. It's lovely. It's temperature out. now is about, what, 15 degrees? The uh, sun's coming out now. We've had a really damp morning, and uh, we're going to head back to the boat in a minute and uh, do some cruising. We're going to end up tonight in... Kintbury, I think the name, yeah, Kintbury, the name of the village is, so uh, getting further and further along, which uh, is nice. There is an absence of Canal and River Trust personnel on this canal. We haven't seen one, have we? One no. We might have seen one cycling past, but that might have been just a bloke in a blue t-shirt, I don't know. But um, you don't see any working boats, you don't see any lock uh, volunteers or anything, so maybe when we get further in, to the bath area and KN locks, which is a flight of 20 something locks. Uh, maybe we'll see them then, but. It is, I really like this canal. I really like it. it it's a bit of a challenge sometimes. You never know from one minute whether you're on river or canal because no, the river don't. just joins the canal yeah. all along. You'll do a mile or so of, of, of canal and then it suddenly turns into river. You've got weirs coming in. Um, we were to rescue a boat the other day, that a hire boat had gone through a lock and there was a fierce weir and they had a, must have been 70 foot, must have been that boat, foot and this poor boat. lady just got swung into the weir and they could not get out so we had to get their ropes, they'd also got their centre line dangling in the water they? <laughs> so we couldn't even that, get right? to that, so we had to pull them back by their, their um, stern. stern rope. So that's about it, I don't think there's anything else to report, is there friend? No, I don't think so. So we'll carry on with our walk and uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Cheers. A lesson in how to walk the gangplank. Brightest crayon Archie, in the box. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, you're gonna stay there all night. Come on, Archie, on here. Oh, Ooh, nearly. <laughs>
that's it for the night. No more wheeze until the morning.